today we'll discuss about 14 principle of management who gave this 14 principle henry fayard is a french mining engineer french mining engineer he is also called father of administrative management how to remember this i used to remember like this dad you see u s s r dad says oh i see now d stand for division of work that is divide any work into small jobs and should be performed by specialist so that the quality of production will be improved that is the meaning therefore work will be divided a stand for authority and responsibility there should be a balance between authority and responsibility excess of authority may leads to misuse of power responsibility without authority without power may leads to slavery therefore you have to remember authority and responsibility or should be equal irresponsible now d stand for discipline i write d p is below below means you are obedient one should be obedient towards rules regulation of an organization u stand for unity of command unity of direction also is there but why i write first command now after taking command only you go in one particular direction therefore i am writing in a sequence order there should be one boss that means what only one boss is be for every individual employee to avoid dual subordinate and confusion there should be one boss so that there should no confusion that is the reason c for centralization and decentralization you can write c and d you can remember right centralization what do you mean by centralization it means making uh making the power in hands of one or few and decision making power among more than one person called decentralization now you stand for unity of direction that means each group should lead by one leader it ensure the action and coordination yes stand for scalar principle or scalar line of chain it is a formal line of authority who is more powerful who is next powerful like that authority from higher to the lower rank to know na scalar chain what do you mean by stability stability tenure or personal means you must have minimum employees with maximum efficiency r stand for remuneration of an employee and it should be good and equitable which give a good relation between worker and management what do you mean by this order order means people and material should be suitably placed in appropriate time appropriate time for maximum efficiency i stand for is a initiative that is steps taken by the employees towards their self motivation what are the steps you motivate the employee see this yes stand for this is more important subordination of individual interest to general interest that means individual interest of the worker should not disturb the organization interest priority is given to your group interest right what do you mean by equity that means manager and worker subordinate 
and worker all should be treated equally that is kindness and justice in the behavior of manager towards the employee or worker that is called equity right see this is a very very important e e spirit spirit you know or not alcohol e spirit decor what do you mean by this it is nothing but the spirit of cooperation worker should work in team to develop a sense of uh, oneness that is important and should have a mutual confidence and understanding that is the meaning right now division of work authority and responsibility discipline unity of command centralization and decentralization unity of direction scalar principle stability of the persons personal and remunerations order initiative subordination of individual interest to general interest equity and e spirit see four five times you write it then only you will remember this is a very very important question and not only for mba everywhere throughout the world they will ask this for all interview